me a second. I'm not tolerating this. Okay, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous right here. Um, we're gonna have to fix this right now. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. But, yeah. Okay, I think that's where... Okay, all right, Aries, thank you for tuning in. Uh, just clear the energy, return to center, down the whole left side of the body. Okay. There's a lot going on for you, Aries. Obviously, this is uh, an eclipse. Okay, I know that we passed the day of the eclipse, but you're going to be feeling this transit, obviously, for the next, uh, we're looking at six-year cycle spurts, uh, yeah, and we got Mercury retrograde in your sign as well. This is a, quite a transit, okay? So try to be patient, but be honest with yourself in terms, well, and with where you're really at. Some of you, there's something you need to uh, confess to yourself, like, do I like this the situation? Do I like the way that this person I'm hearing specifically is treating me, talking to me, um, you, you, I see you, yeah, just <laughs> return it. You're realizing something. It could be that you're coming to the point of realizing that maybe something doesn't work for you. So let's get here really um, descriptively what that is, what exactly, um, and uh, yeah, furthermore, some of you, you're uh, kicking a habit. Okay, this is something that you've been needing to work on. Now, I was meditating your energy. I'm seeing you creating, sort of putting something into motion, creating... Um, an archetype, okay, even wow. of sorts. I see um, you're gonna go for it. I hear it like that. There's something you're gonna finally, okay, focus on even, okay. So the Eight of Swords in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's been too long, like that you haven't, let's say, um, worked constructively towards this vision. Now there is a bit of like this energy of surrender. There could be something that, you know, maybe you know is controversial even. It's like some of you here, you know, you are actually really wanting something that is maybe not going to be favorable um, in terms of as seen as an outcome for others, okay? And that's too bad, you know, I hear that's too bad. Like you don't like what I love, that's too bad, you know? And you see you kind of checking out of the whole hotel of let's talk about, let's negotiate what, what I love means for you. I don't have to make you anybody in your life. I hear like that, um, that's your job. Okay, so when you're pursuing what you love for yourself, you're saying kind of at the same time, you know, it's your responsibility as well to do the same for yourself. I have my myself in mind. And that doesn't make you selfish, Aries, right? Aries, you can be selfish though in the shadow of Mars. We see selfishness, we do. But this is you rebalancing. I see a, a tie. Some of you realizing I'm working too hard. I'm working uh, for people who don't respect me. I hear it like that. And I need to refine my audience. I hear it like that. I need to refine, okay, uh, maybe the topics I'm talking about. Uh, you know, some things I, I don't enjoy. I hear it as well. And Mars is the number one, okay, archetype we'll, we'll look at when we're um, asking ourselves to be honest with what we feel. Um, and, uh, you know, because you can't hide that. Definitely. You cannot hide. And Aries will not hide. We're not talking about Shadow Libra. We're not talking about smiling to someone uh, when you're really angry. Um, we're talking about Mars. Mars is that child, sometimes very um, honest, 
brutally honest, but honest, you know, it's like, Hey, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Like a kid, like a kid, kind of like a kid. Like, I don't, I don't like that. So no, it's like, you just spent 12, you, you spent 12 days planning this event for me or, you know, this, this dinner, I don't like it. I'm not going to eat it. You push the plate away. That's Aries, um, energy. Okay. Here. So uh, at hand, and I feel like you realize it will, we all have Aries energy. That's what we all have the propensity for to be that honest, but we sort of go into this, this programming, right. Um, through life. And so we're unraveling much of that. Many of you, many of us, I'll say, um, we're going to understand where we've been sort of smiling, where we haven't been happy. Okay. And it's going to be a, maybe a rude awakening for someone around you. There's someone here who realized they can't control you anymore as well. It's like, oh, damn, I can't really get Aries to do something that they don't want to do. I hear like that as well. Maybe this is, you know, the first time you guys get to that milestone in your relationship where you prove who you are and who you're not at the same time. Okay. Me liking this means I don't like that. And there's no if, and, or, but about it. Some of you, maybe, you know, you've been sort of holding off on getting to this point with this person. Some of you I'm hearing you've remained silent, but now I see you getting vocal if you haven't been, especially. Okay. So there's something that's going to change. You're going to definitely tell someone, um, how you expect things to be done. Okay. As well. I see you kind of not being uh, forgiving with that. I see you not sort of, um, uh, opening yourself to, um, the possibilities. Will you, okay. It's not like, well, maybe like we can find, no. I want this and I will show that that's what I expect of that, of this person in today. Um, there's no more waiting. The, you know, patience has run dry definitely at this point in time. So let's get further into it. Thank you guys again for those of you tuning in. Um, I saw a super chat just come through. I think it is, the name is Aubrey from what I can see here. Thank you so much. Um, whoever that was for your super chat, I'll go back and I'll look through these, um, Super chats and yeah, y'all really uh, touched me with your support. Thank you guys for, um, yeah, this is you showing up for the collective. Six of Wands, okay? This is time. I'm here and it's called time. It's called space. It's called, I don't got much of it. Okay. That's the funny thing I'll say it again about Aries is, you know, we're just sort of like, you know, we're in a space of irony even. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. Some of you even, you realize, you know, that maybe someone here, you know, you know, want something, expect something. And again, that Aries energy is kind of like, I know that you're not happy about this, but I'm not changing my mind because that's my mind. You know, this is about your ego as well. Self identifying with the healthier side of your ego. Maybe, you know, you were getting into a lack of ego and, and this is not true. We are in the 3d. Everybody has an ego. You can pretend all you want that you're just here in spiritual form. Um, unless you really are just, you know, I mean, a shape-shifting guide. Um, you're not here without an ego. You have an ego. So stop pretending that you don't have an ego. You got an ego and it's not a bad thing. If it's in balance, if you're honest, and that's the integrity of your of, of this spiritual dimension on this plane at this time is that we have that 3D to check in with. We have that reflection point of the 3D. We got we have the ego. So it's not about pretending like, you know, skirting around the ego like it's the elephant in the room. It exists. It's a part of us. And how do we acknowledge it? And that's where you are going to be in the in the more firm standing of your Mars, of your Martian first house. This is about you being really entirely at your capacity to love what it is that you just simply do. Okay, um, it's going to go both ways. If you were, if someone was selfishly self-motivated at the detriment of others, um, when I when I say that, we're, we, you know, this is channeled, we're talking more from a higher mind perspective of consciousness. We're talking about in your soul. Do you do something that you know is actually not really good for you? Because it's also not good for others. Um, and all are one, like, in, this, in the sentiment of knowing that what you do to another will come back to you, right? Karmic energy um, circles. This is about you acknowledging that karma exists. Interestingly, we can't have the first health without having moved through the 12th. Would the first exist without the 12th? There's something about you becoming mature in this space of acknowledgement, of knowing that you also deserve to live happily as a human being in this more articulate form of your higher, of your higher power, um, of, of desire. So desire doesn't have to be a selfish thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to mean that you have not moved through what you have moved through. Okay. Have you have transcended by way of your 12th house? Okay. You have gifts as well that merge your 12th to your first house. And this is really about honoring what's real, no matter where it sort of sits at in your life. Does it, 
mean you are more in a spiritual energy? Does it mean that you are more feeling, you know, it's like if you're hungry, just say it. If you don't want to eat that, then don't, don't pretend that you have a thought, okay, or two of it. You know, you, you're not, you're not um, obligated to be anyone. It's a perception that people want us as well to be someone that we're not. And that's where I would say that's actually a shadow cancer. And it is uh, the eclipse, right? We're talking about, we're talking about the moon. Always. We're talking about um, fourth house. And we're talking about tenth. This is where you achieve the karmic surrender. Eclipses are very uncomfortable at first. They're very, very um, startling to our mentality of lack the lack that we didn't didn't expect this our higher mind is is much wiser it knows that without balance there will be correction there will be a revisiting of that concept our higher mind understands i'm not being honest right now with myself this is gonna this is gonna show up again your higher mind you, you, you are wiser than your ego. And yes, so Aries, I think there's something here that you've possibly left behind as a part of yourself. I'll be very, very honest. Some of you haven't been honest with yourselves. You've been denying. You've been, you know, um, you, 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 you've been refraining. I heard it like that from really admitting yourself into that life that you know you want to live. Okay, um, it's not something of the mind. It's not something intellectualized. This is about your impulse and your drive. And some of you haven't been motivated. And it's like, there's no question about that. Like, you can tell when an Aries is interested in something or someone. It's usually not hard to tell when an Aries is interested in you. Um, there's no mind games really with Aries energy. We're not looking at, oh, I like them, but let me act like I don't. That's not Aries over there. That over there maybe is more Scorpio. Or yeah, this is maybe more, just return it. This is not Aries. <laughs> Aries is, and that's where you know, like quickly, easily. Am I in my Aries? Is whether or not you're genuinely happy. Um, do you feel excited? Do you have energy? You know, this is something we talk more about in elemental sort of, um, yeah, equation when it comes to your birth chart. Um, and we talk more about that on members. We'll talk more about this um, definitely on hourly astrology. So join us. Also, little plug here, if you do want to support this channel um, in a bigger way than, let's say, hitting the like button or subscribing and so on, um, you can join members. And that's a way that you can really help um, give back as well to this space and the guides and to say, hey, I'm showing up for this portal. I am here for this level up. And I do want to love myself further. Um, those downloads are a little more nuanced. They are for those who are looking for more sort of um, detail as to how they can ascend, okay? And so it is Lightworker Querent as well, as are all videos on this channel. This is going to be though right here, this this video we're doing now, this general, this is more like we'll say in a, in a, in a piece by piece um, ensemble of just sort of how you're expressing yourself at this time. Are you, are you, are you engaged in your story? Are you bored? Okay, like it could just be as simple as like, am I just um, over myself right now? You know, and it's not because uh, it's too complicated. I'm just not feeling this. And um, sometimes we make so many excuses for our, our story, ourselves. Oh, but you know, uh, yeah, no, I, I shouldn't do that right now. Or this is actually something that maybe down the line will make me happy. No, Aries is I'm happy now or I'm not. And that's where those of you in shadow cancer, those of you in shadow Especially, um, I'm hearing um, I'm hearing a deficit of fire energy. You know, this is a lot of elemental talk. We're talking a lot of astrology here. Some of you here, you really start to become more aware of yourself. Maybe at this time, you for the first time looked at your birth chart, and you're like, "Holy shit!" Like, I'm actually like really fiery. Or maybe you're at this video, you just learned about astrology, and you're like, "I'm an Aries." Wow, I'm just, you know, I'm just realizing that. Yeah, like there's something more to this. Um, maybe you've just exited the matrix, y'all. Like, there's some. Yeah, really big epiphany when it comes to what fire does. And maybe you even experienced something that was amazing. And you're like, that's what love is. That's what fire is. That's what passion is. And then you go back to this old way of living and you're like, no, that's not it. So there's something that you're comparatively sort of uh, realizing. Okay, you, you are you are re-engaging. You're remembering. And you're not really learning anything new. You are in that space of honesty with where it is that you've... you've, you've uh, You've known all along, okay? And that's about your 12th house. The first house is just as much about 
the mastery of the third deacon of Pisces. Um, so it's an illusion that we're really just talking about Aries. And uh, so when I, this is how I work with astrology and specifically moon stages is you have to look at the surrounding details. Um, a eclipse, let's say in Aries is again, we'll say it again, just as much about talking of Pisces talking of the proceedings. Yeah, there's a lot of details. We'll talk more about this on members, y'all. Um, I'll make this more short and we'll get more to the cards. Um, the five of wands in reverse and the six of wands are right because I feel like there's something that, you know, you need to know. I hear that as well. Some of you are messing around. Like I can just be hooking up with this guy and I, I don't know what we are. I don't know who we are, but I'll just kind of keep doing this. And I feel this is for someone if it's matters of love, especially those of you with Venus and Aries, you were like pretending that the situation was okay. I'm hearing that it was kind of like sufficing. It's it's not sufficing and not only that it's not interesting to you uh you're not you're not turned on you're not stimulated um and you have expectations i hear that as well M yeah you're you're going to turn a page with how people also um treat you okay and, and it's definitely uh reached a climax i feel for some of you with how patient you're willing to get i see a boat being towed um how patient you were willing to, to be. Um, some of you realize I'm not being realistic. I don't think I can deal with this, like even five more days. And I told him I'll be there for five years. No, fucking no, I gotta go. Okay, like, so some of you here, I see you getting just naked even with something, like letting go of this baggage, of this expectations, okay? Kind of, um, I'm hearing even tit for tat, to and fro. Like, you don't have the stamina for that, I feel. Many of you, I mean, that's not Aries. Again, that's not about drama. It's not, Aries don't, they don't have the stamina for drama. Maybe in the moment. Maybe for one scene, you know, but being the same consistent, you know, I'm here in a Kardashian. I don't know for the, the character for the whole movie. It's like Aries going to get bored of that. So whatever it is, um, I don't think that you are going to play the story over again. OK, we'll say it like that. Many of you, you've made it out of a long cycle of karma. I'll say it in that way for you. All right. So I think that you would. Yeah, I'm seeing a, a tie again, like a tie. Like I'm here in. I don't care about I don't care about this. Uh, so you're going to give something up. You're going to sell it off. That's it. You know, um, I'm done thinking about what if this, and I'm just going to get rid of this thing. You know, you're just like at a limit. Some of you here, um, you're going to let someone know how you feel about them. Okay. If you have not been feeling, yeah, this is very, very Aries. Like I'm getting that energy of the hangman. Okay. You're coming in from 12th house. Some of you, um, you know, as I was working, yeah, with your guides before I turn on this, um, this dispatch download, um, on the camera, <laughs> specifically I with the filming I was getting that something uh, really is coming up about Neptune for you okay so there was something here that was returning in the crown you thought there was a benefit even that there just is not it's like the feeling of I thought that that person was actually really giving me something that I needed to hold on to but I realized that there's actually nothing kids are screaming there's nothing really to it there's nothing there um there's kind of just the dream there's the desire but that's not my desire i don't want to just desire some of you return it in the crown chakra in the third eye there's something that you have to release um and it's about forgiveness okay i forgive myself for thinking let's say that that would have made me happy this is a lot about when you release people who are not in alignment with you it's also about how you are releasing you from that when we are like fixed, right? Like you're not giving up, you're getting stubborn. Like, I know this isn't good for me, but I'm still in the situation. You in some shape or form haven't allowed yourself. Okay. To, to, to release. Okay. What you, what you needed. Okay. And what you didn't receive in that particular context. And so it's kind of like saying, I know they don't serve hot dogs here, but I want hot dogs, but you're still standing there in the restaurant. Like it's kind of a pointless, right? So some of you, you feel, you know, it's this, it's this moment of, I've wasted so much time. Um, should I now sit here and sort of just continue realizing that? Or do I change the way that I deal with the predicament, okay, of having maybe had a failure even, okay? Some of you, you could have dated someone and you're now realizing now, I don't really see this person as my long-term person and that's okay. I don't have to uh, make up for that, right, with your ego, the shadow ego, which believes that time does exist, which believes that space does exist and that they both matter in terms of achieving a sense of happiness. Okay. In the so-called, um, experience of life on this, on this plane, I'm hearing this planetary dimension at this time, especially. So you're like realizing I don't have to feel, um, you know, at fault changing my mind doesn't mean that I wasn't, um, in the right place at the right time. Okay. And you're, letting you're letting people know that you're ready to let go that's how i ultimately feel it for you um uh um in 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 um in a in a, in a really um in, in in a really um i'm hearing in a space of 
um, sort of um, for, for, forward uh, forward motion. Okay, I, I think that if and if you knew that you know for a long time, and you, it's not enough. You have to do something about that feeling. Um, you have to you have to frame okay the image. And some of you, this is about even going public with something. Maybe, you know, you had a private life and a private story of your personal truth. I know that this is like what I want, but I don't tell anybody. I don't dare tell anybody. Um, and that wasn't feeling good to you. You were like holding yourself away from the world, you know, who you really were. And you, 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 you were feeling that that was inauthentic, but um, you weren't allowing yourself to, to really honor that. Okay. Um, and it started to feel, I'm hearing it like this for some of you that you weren't enough. Okay, it's like you started to realize maybe, well, why is it that, you know, I wouldn't criticize another person if they were to behave the way that I would behave now, but I would criticize myself. Like if someone told me, hey, I don't like that dish, I don't want to eat it, uh, then I, I wouldn't criticize them. But if I want to come out now and tell the person, hey, I don't like your dish, I'm seeing Bat a Batman insignia here, I, I don't want to eat that dish, and I'm thinking that I shouldn't do that? Why? You know, there's something about here honoring, okay, your, your, your needs, okay, as well. And it can be physically. Some of you, you know, you're hooking up. I don't know. Some of you, it's a hookup thing. You're hooking up with someone. They're not pleasing you sexually. They're not pleasing you physically. And there's no shame in that. Okay. You don't owe this person, um, you know, what they deliver to you. Okay. Should they be the one for you? You don't owe, the, owe it to this person that they are the right person for you. You need to really, some of you, understand that you are okay as well on your own and that you can please yourself. Reach on the crown. You're prioritizing your happiness in the truest form. You're saying, I do want to be happy. And that means maybe letting this person go. And I, fulfilling myself, will be enough. Okay, so it is really about bringing healthy ego back into this sort of trance. You have to talk openly. I hear that as well um, in this space. Some of you, you know, you've really been avoiding um, maybe a very particular conversation. Some of you, it's something physical. Like maybe you're pretending, like some of you even like faking orgasms. I, that's for someone, you know? It's like I was kind of just smiling and like saying, yeah, I like that. I don't like that. I hear that. Some of you, yeah, this is you with you. Um, some of you, I'm hearing, I need to tell him like, I don't like the way his razor works. I don't know. Maybe someone here has double on their chin. Some of you, y'all are doing like, um, I'm yeah, I don't know. Okay, so you can take it as you will. You're doing some physical stuff and like, yeah, you need them. You need something different. Like, and it's like, it's not about, hey, you need to be that person. It's just, hey, I kind of need you to be this person. Will you, will you be in resonance with that? Okay, if you won't, then we need to separate. And that's the honesty. It's not um, dominance and that's shadow Aries, right? Which is like very bossy, can be like, you know, uh, kind of like, Hey, um, I need you to be this person. It's like, you don't need this person to be that person, but you need that person to be that person. But if they're not that person and you leave the door open for that, right. To be the case, of course, it's not like you're a slave, a slave driver, right? You let that person be who they are, but you're, you're honest to an extent. And then the next Step to that as well, and I'm okay if you're not that person. I don't need you to be that person. You see, it's something nuanced, yeah? Some of you here, you've maybe been practicing this. It's been very challenging for you. It's like, how do I not feel like I need all control, and yet I don't have, like, no opinion? You know, you, yeah, you, you... You're, you're into worlds is what I hear. It's some of you even um, being open here with how it is that you need someone else as well, okay, to, to speak to you more honestly and openly, okay? Because usually, you know, Aries doesn't have a problem really being outspoken. It could be like, I need from you to also uh, kind of, you know, be more real with me. Maybe you've been feeling, especially if you're an Aries Scorpio, it's like, I know I'm here and cut the bullshit, cut the act. Like, I know who you are underneath, okay, the surface. And I'm seeing so for some of you, you, maybe you're cross -watch. Yeah. Someone is getting frustrated. Like some of you, maybe this person and you, like you're pretending like you don't need to get physical, but someone here does want to get physical and they're getting really annoyed. Like, I don't like that. We're not getting physical and, um, you're ju done judging yourself on that. It's like, you can say whatever you want about me, but that's, that's what I need. Okay. As at least to say it <laughs> like, uh, okay. Yeah. I can't pretend like I don't want to hug you. You know, this is something. Maybe you friend zone somewhere. You guys are in this pretend friendships energy. I don't know what that's about for everybody, but maybe you just broke. I don't know. You broke up. You're like, we can keep friends. Yeah, what's this? Okay, the Knight of Cups and the Fool. Like some of you also, you're just flirting and it's like, 
I keep hearing cut the bullshit. Like, I don't want to flirt anymore. Okay. I'm tired of flirting. I hear that. Okay. I don't like that. Like flirting forever. I need to have a change, you know, let's go from flirting to the next step. Some of you are getting very impatient. Mm hmm. You're getting very impatient with this dynamic with someone. You may be very attracted to them, but you're also like some of you maybe losing respect. I'll be quite honest. It's like, okay, so it was to a point, you know, returning the crown. Some of you, you know, you had this Neptune bubble going with some situation like, ah, oh, you know, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, you're dreamy, flirty, and then it just doesn't do it for you anymore. Like, it's just not enough for you. Just clearing the sacral. Some of you, you don't want to make this person feel some kind of way. Some of you are going to walk away from someone. You're going to just leave. You're going to leave the situation behind. It's like, some this person may even be kind of shocked like huh wait 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 wait, wait, wait. aries was like really interested a minute ago what happened aries lost interest y'all like aries was sitting there okay aries was standing around and it's like so what is aries gonna do now stand around like again like there's something about a cycle that you're not willing to 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 reiterate um as 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 your as your need i just keep saying it like that like again and again okay some of you maybe you said it too many times as well it's like i told him like already i don't see you um trying again if he's not clicking it, we're just not a match, possibly, okay? Some of you, you walked away. Maybe you were even upset at this person. It's like, I told you, like, ten times. Like, at a certain point, um, I'm, yeah, I'm losing, yeah, the lovers, you know, you did have a very strong connection with this person, but it's like, they're not, like, they're not understanding, okay, maybe who you are as you feel it. And so I wouldn't look to Aries as, like, the, the first sign who would, um, you know, be, we're not talking about Sagittarius here, right? Like, Sagittarius being more committed to and having this sort of endless boundlessness um kind of like yeah well let's see again we'll try to you know no like aries is like i have also places to be and i have people to see and even i don't know who they are yet but <laughs> i got i think i do and i will eventually and I, I the point is i don't like this so yeah some of you you're in this energy of like i need to cut this person off okay because otherwise they are going to um some of you you feel caught like like even this that maybe this person wants to control you Okay, it's like I gotta end the cycle before it becomes a pattern. Okay, so someone maybe around you, I feel you're dealing with someone who's very different from you. Just by nature, like you guys are just different people. This person could be more watery, they could have a lot of cancer. I'm hearing Sagittarius, and it's like they want to go on and on and on and on. Whereas you kind of um yeah, you 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 know, you're worried that this is going to be something like forever. I don't know, it's very specific, yeah. So maybe it's about attraction. It's like, hold on, are you thinking of us like dating forever? No, I want to like, whatever it is, Aries, I want to get married. I want to have, you know, Aries likes to kind of have, um, you know, they don't like stagnation. Yeah, I don't want to sit here. Okay, we're like coagulating, you know, and, and yeah, I'm hearing, uh, oh, I'm hearing, um, I want to tell you, oh God, mm -hmm. the tone, how much I love you. Whoa. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I said it once and she's not listening. I already said it. This person's like ignoring you, you feel? Just according to you. Yeah. So um, I think we're looking more here at a sort of action. And I think this other person may see it as a holy shit. Or he's just up and up and left. Like that was sudden. Um, but I think that's your truth. I think that your truth is that and it's better said earlier than, than later that you won't be tolerating this, whatever this is. This person getting to know you. I'll say it like that. Lovers in the King Cups. Now there's a frustration. There's a fresh, there's a, there's a moment. It's very annoying. Just clear it. It's very troubling. It's, um, formless. Like someone feels that they don't, um, they don't, they don't, they don't know who, who y'all are anymore. Some of you, I'll be honest, you gone to some weird, how do we say Something feels nebulous again. It's like it's going back into nebulous because if we can't take action to the to the vision, to the feeling, we don't have much. And some of you, if you're dealing with a Pisces, you know, there was a lot of attraction. There was a lot potential. And Pisces kind of like Jupiter, like Sag. That's good for only so long. Uh, maybe it, it was tolerable during the Pisces Four planets stellium a few weeks ago. Maybe that was working for you back then. But now it's like, I feel like some of you, if you are dealing especially with a Pisces, it's like something like the drip, the ball got dribbled off the court. You kind of lost your marbles astray. Um, I'm hearing once again. And so some of you here, you're kind of shocked maybe at an air. You could be a Pisces dealing with an air. It's like, what happened to this person? I thought like we had, I'm here, we got a thing. <gasps> going on no we don't 
We don't? What happened? It's like, some of you are shocked by this Aries who just change up on you. I don't know. It's such a specific vision. It just... Like, someone is now worried that they lost you forever, even Aries, but it's like, you're just being you. I feel there was a, someone who, I'm telling you, they're more Pisces. You're more Aries. I'm hearing, sign, seal, delivered, I'm yours. Like, maybe even you said something. You said, hey, I would love to, like, hang out, but, like, you meant that for real. And this person, I don't know, they took it, like, more, I don't know, metaphorically. It's like, oh, yeah, one day, like, we'll hang out. It's like, I'm seeing an old school car. It's like, but if you don't. I mean, this person kind of subliminal, they, they have a different expectation. Like, uh, when I said that, I meant, like, this week. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. So they kind of just, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Just clearing the heart chakra. Don't want to say body. It's like, um, yeah, no. I kind of needed us to, like, do this sooner, even. Okay. But then I just see this reaction. Like, then I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm hearing, you left me out to try. Like, this, they will remove themselves from the situation entirely, completely. No, but then I keep seeing this frustrating sexual energy. It's like... But what? But I like this person physically. So some of you even shocked why this person completely let me go. I don't understand. I thought there was a very strong connection. Yeah, there was. But this person, they could have a Venus in Aries. Oh my God, or like a Mars in Aries, or a rising in Aries. Like they need, they need, they need like sh you to show them in a really tangible, even way that, yeah, like give them attention, like acknowledge the the fact that I'm hearing the, the the fact that you both have a connection like maybe someone's playing too hard to get too long even okay like I can't live off of eye contact I don't know about you but I cannot just flirt with my eyes forever so <laughs> okay yeah some of you is a sexual style you were having sex with him he was not your type you guys like it's just very obvious like very clear or you have to talk about it again either yeah it's communication matter or it's just like actual compatibility like he's going in circles I don't like the way he's doing the foreplay thing like I don't want to like yeah, eat cherries off the stem of his foot. Like, I don't want to do that, but yeah, do you? Because, like, let's talk about it. I, I That's not my style. So, anyways, Bridge is Bridge. Yeah, he th it's just different. Some of you will, but yeah, this is a moment you, you realize either we are possibly a match or we're definitely not a match. Or, yeah. Um, or, yeah. Or I know now what is my style and I'm going to have to, yeah, catch you later. I'm going to catch you. I'll catch you at your own wedding, probably with someone else, because I don't see a future, all right? So that's what I'm seeing for someone is very, maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but, like, yeah, that's what it is. Just return. I'm here and remarry. Just, just, re yeah. I'm really, like, I'm for real. I really realized maybe you had a break, and then you were, like, maybe we'll have a pause, but then you want to really break up for good. It can be, I'm seeing one, is it 134 on the clock? Uh, people in the room. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, some of you even, you know, those moments where you're like, I think this is what I want, but you know that's really what you want, but you just said, I think, like, that's one of these moments where you're just gonna take think and take a pen to it, and, uh, I, I need, yeah, I'm here, because I wanna know what makes you mom, but some of, <laughs> some of you, take a moment. Okay, yeah, that was that wasn't a moan, I'll tell you. That was more like a yodel. All right. But some of you, uh, you um it's yeah, you just need to know um maybe you had sex with this person or you got physical and you just realize yeah, I don't know. It was different than what I thought. You thought maybe you'd be more attractive oh, something like that. I don't know. Maybe you feel bad even. Some of you somebody really likes foreplay with the feet or something. <laughs> it's super specific. And you don't, or they do, or you want. I don't know anymore. Yeah, I gotta go. So the three of swords are the lovers, and the knight of swords are, you know, people, guys, like, hello, astrology. Like, we all have a type. Like, let's get down to it, you know, and everyone's down is different. Like, some people's down is up. Some people's, you know, someone was maybe, they just, I don't know, y'all. Like, it was too much, like, maybe even just too much talking. Like, they want to just get jump into it. And I'm not talking about gender. Um... We're talking about astrology, energy, right? Like, maybe someone's talking too much. That's not turning them on. It's like, maybe someone in the crown. Someone's touching them too long, or it's just not their style. Like, it's something about the magnetism. It's not there for somebody. All right. I'm hearing hello. Some of you are, like, a little bit hurt about something. Hey, hello. Like, someone maybe ghosted someone. Can we get a little bit more? I'm hearing something about vector analysis. Like, you were pretending that you were into him. Even oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is an Aries who maybe thought that they could keep up with this. Like, oh, yeah, I like him. For some of you, you like someone for the wrong reasons. And, like, you realize, like, I actually cannot even stand him talking for, like, two minutes. Like, I'm actually not into what he's even talking about. I don't know what, what I was thinking. Like, I signed up for his, like, uh, real estate program. I don't know. Something. Um, you, you just can't. 
I just can't anymore pretending that. I, 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 I don't know. I'm into his, like, job. You were pretending, oh, my God, I love vectors and analysis. You can't, you realize I can't even talk about that for, like, as long as he's talking about it. Like, even him talking about it makes me feel like I, I gotta, I gotta leave the, the restroom even I'm in. Some of you ran away from him on the date. It's just, it is what it is. You're not even in front of him. It, I, you just feel you want to get away from him. I don't know. You have, like, anxiety, maybe? It's like, uh, you're realizing compatibility exists. It's like, it's not that he's just hot and we can hang out. It's like, some of you, this person, maybe you really, they're, t they're driving you, they're turning you off, maybe. Uh-huh. You realize that can happen. <laughs> it's like, damn, he could be sexy, but he could just drive me insane, like, through my mind. Some of you, he's uh, bothering me. I even hear that. I don't know. It could be physical again. Like, maybe this person, I hope it's not the case, but, like, he was hurting you or, like, something was even just return it. Like, kind of even just distasteful to you. Maybe even some of you here. Um, yeah. It's, like, not everything is good like you do have an opinion okay maybe you were like way too assumptive that you would have fallen in love with this man i even hear it like that that, that he would have been able to please you like that and um the queen of swords here with justice and the nine of pentacles the ten of pentacles yeah some of you gonna even sell a property off Oh my god, some of you, this is really embarrassing though. Like, you maybe signed even a whole contract and you had to backpedal out of that. Like, hey, I know I said, like, we would, yeah, basically live forever together, but then I don't think I'm even gonna able to be, a, we went on one first date and it's like, some of you, you, you definitely, uh, you jumped the gun with this guy. You jumped really, you, you did a whole, you did a whole jump, um, in the crown. Yeah, it's like, you realize you're fake smiling a little bit. Uh-oh, what do I do? I have to tell him, like, I don't even think that we can go on one date, let alone we're going to have, like, we're going to live together forever. Three of Wands, the Five of Swords. So let's get further, you guys. Yeah. Some of you, you're realizing you're trying to please this person and that that was coming before what you really were feeling, and it's like, I, I can't live for you, bro, okay? Like, yeah, some of you even get into a bit of an argument because this person possibly for some you're realizing they're winding you up and holding you to expectations that are like unspoken it's like i feel like i can't like make you feel um anything other than good you know and that's a problem we don't want to be around people we feel we need to please i'm not your slave okay the death card hell no okay some of you you realize that this person holding you to some unspoken obligation it's like why do i feel i can't be honest with you okay something like that it's like why do i feel like i can't upset you like I, i'm afraid to hurt your feelings or gonna get you that you're gonna upset me even um Okay, so there's something a bit about a codependent um, cord attachment, okay? Just something that's not healthy as a sort of basis upon which you're associating with an individual. Um, it could be something sexual, romantic, professional. You're just realizing that there's um, something unfair as well, okay? As an established premise of this relationship, okay? It's like, I realize you're expecting me to do something specific or you're not going to be happy. You're realizing that that's the reality situation. Um, this is not fair. It's not balanced as well. Uh, some of you just realize, why am I doing all this for you? Why do I feel I need to please you? No, it should be, yeah, that I should, I should be happy anyways. And that we're really, truly compatible. Some of you feel you're making way too many sacrifices, okay, to be in a connection with this person. It's something subtle, subconscious, like you know in your mind, if I don't do this or say that, then we're kind of going to get into an argument. It's like you're holding the relationship together. How exhausting. Gotta go. I gotta go. No, I gotta go. It's like, I think you're all of a sudden just gonna break up. Oh, let's just hear it like that. This is very Aries over here. Yeah. Some of you, you're gonna get angry because I see this tension because you were holding yourself back for so long. It's like, why was I saying I was okay with all that, man? I really wanted to like um, shave his head off. I don't know. Some of you. <laughs> what? Like, I don't know. I think you were telling someone they were your type. Oh, man, here we go. It's gonna start getting offensive. Don't get offended. Everybody has a type. And you don't need this person to find you attractive too, right? It's like, maybe we're both forcing it. It's like, why are we pretending like we both wanted this? It's like, I don't find you attractive. You don't find me attractive. This is for someone. It's just for... Yeah, the devil. Like, maybe even it was very sexual, but it wasn't... That wasn't actually pleasing you, okay? You're like, I thought that that's what I wanted. I saw it in the movies. It's like, but I don't. In real life, I don't want I don't want him like that. I want him more romantic or I want him more soft-spoken. Like, I want more of a femi boy. I don't want a big, you know, macho, alpha, grizzly, okay? Yeah, like, I'm hearing Daddy Santa Claus. Like, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, dinner is served. It's like kind of, man, like, I want someone more, or vice versa. You're getting, yeah, you're just getting kind of open-minded with um, who you've been to this point. I would just say it just like that. It's not what you want, it's who you, because that could change over time. It's like, maybe tomorrow, I do want him, yeah? The point is that you're going to be honest. 
no matter what. And that's maybe a pack you reach with this person. You say, let's be honest always. If ever we change, we inevitably will. And that's what it is about, the flow. Seven of Swords leading out. Some of you, someone cheated. With the Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, it's like, you both, re well, he didn't have an outlet or she didn't have an outlet. It's like, I felt like I was cornered in and I and I felt like I couldn't be honest. And so you have to give someone here the space to be honest with you and vice versa. And it really does come down to communication. Communicating about communicating, okay? Otherwise, that energy doesn't disappear. It's like, if I really actually want like a male with a mustache and that's important to me, let's just make an example. And it's like, ah, oh, here I am like making this whole story. Like that's not important to me. That's not on my checklist. Okay. Then, you know, you're going to have that feeling and the desire. Anyways, you're not going to be able to destroy Mars and Aries energy. Uh, what truly impulsively pleases you that, and that's going to proliferate and it's going to come out in other ways. So some of you realize I can't run. I can't hide from what I love. Let's get further. The Ten of Cups up, right? Yeah. Some of you even think you're kind of silly. Some of you here, return of the crumb. You were avoiding someone even. Okay. This is for some now. Another, I feel this is another timeline. You were pretending that you were okay without someone. Maybe your ego was ahead of yourself here a bit with that. It's like, yeah, trying to even maybe like act like you're good without them. You're like, that's it. I'm breaking down. I got to be with him. I'm hearing that. Okay. It's like, I do love you. I'm hearing, um, from, uh, uh, I do cherish you. Da 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 da. The song, Backstreet Boys, whatever. Yeah. Some of you like you may even break down. You may get emotional. You can't hide it anymore. Remember the song? I want to dance with somebody. Yeah. Some of you gonna run back to an ex even. It's like he was my one true love. Like I know I got a connection with you that I have with nobody, and I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, acting like I'm tired of us. It's like some of you are pretending the drama was just too much, but you want to try. You want to try again. You want to come back in. Five of Cups up. Are you truly genuinely sad without this person? It's like, I don't want to be with that other guy. I don't know. Some of you are faking that you like this other dude. It's like, nah. Like, who is, can we get a little bit on who is, you know? I, well, I think you would know. I'm here in, I'm here in Durrell. I'm here in the name Diego as well. That's funny. That's, that's their, um, I said, uh, Bandit Incarnation. Yeah. Uh, that's his name, Diego. Okay, five of cups, five of pentacles, nine of swords. Interesting. Uh, the six of wands, right? And the wheel of fortune reverse, and the moon in reverse. So uh, I'm hearing, hey, I'm sorry. Like someone's gonna come in, and 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 they realize that honesty is more important than ego. In serving my ego and being honest with my ego in terms of what I need as a sovereign ego person, I will then tell you. I'll be honest with you in releasing my ego to the point where I can openly admit that, yeah, that I want you. I'm hearing that as well. Like someone here maybe was holding themselves back from, from, from you. They, they don't want to appear weak or some of you, they, they, uh, they changed their mind and they felt weird about changing their mind. It's like, I don't care anymore. Like if I change my mind, they, they can, yeah, I, they, they can. Yeah. Some of you, you're going to get, um, honest with a friend. Okay. It's like, you can think I'm weird or whatever, but yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know even what I am. I just, I feel something about you. I'm hearing that. Mm. Just return to them back. Yeah, guys, this was even like a general, like someone was afraid that they look dorky. Like if they would have showed up for you in a romantic sense, some of you, I'm seeing a big bark of chocolate. It's like, what if I tell him I love him like that? Then what would he say? What would he, what would he think? What would it, there were too many questions here. You know, it's like, please like we don't need to talk we 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 want this i hear like that maybe you but you know you're gonna speak out on behalf of both of you it's like i know that we're both feeling this so uh let me just be the first to be to be the one to say that yeah i'm hearing also i'm sorry so maybe you both sort of um start this process of renewal okay of healing this is for some of you with an x okay i'm hearing mar 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 marv someone here is very wealthy some of you i don't know you were just thinking a lot. Like, you were embarrassed. Like, you didn't want to, I don't know, look some kind of way in front of this person. Your your emotions are going to trump, interestingly here. Um, you're going to take your 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 feelings and you're going to just hand them to this person. That's what I feel. So that's exciting, Aries. I think it's just you. Um, you're more like yourself around this time. Um, after some frustration, probably this has been a long while that you have been sort of um, wringing this towel out. And it's down to the last drop. I'm happy for you. I think that this is going to really feel very much um, uh, just right. It's going to feel that you are now in the right place at the right time, whether or not someone here agrees with you on that. Yeah, you could have, you're very sensitive to criticism. Okay, in the past about thinking about making this decision. And um, 
Yeah, I'm here and they, they don't matter. That person returning the heart chakra. Some of you let someone go because of a taboo because they're you're going to be criticized as a couple in public. It's like, uh, who gives a damn? Okay, I, no, no, I don't care about those people anymore. Some of you are going to be brave. Okay, nice. Let's get here. Um, something about Japan. It's about attraction. I see you like telling this person, like being more vocal, like, like realizing, like I wasn't telling them at all how I saw them. Like, hey, I love you. Like you're beautiful. Like you're just giving this person compliments. Maybe it was very hard for you to give them compliments in the past. Let's get a little further. Uh, I, I don't know if that says ha 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 or hallelujah. I think it says hallelujah, right? Maybe even, you know, that makes me think that maybe you were getting silly where you really wanted to get serious. You were downplaying what was really serious. Like, maybe even you were acting like you didn't really like this person. It's like, ah, ha, ha, I just see you as a friend. It's giving me that one pick of card where you were, like, too cool. Yeah, the Aquarius stack, cool as a cucumber a little bit. That, you know, of that vibe. Or of a vibe in general. Like, I don't really want to, like, show my emotions too much. I'm um, seeing a crown, something about Rolex. But then you're like, um, hey, uh, yeah, I, no, I, I don't see you as a friend. Like, stop laughing. It's not about the jokes. I'm not here for the jokes. Like, I, I want to be with you. Okay. Yeah. And maybe you even said something kind of this a moment. Like, this person even got really hurt by what you re return it. Yeah. Some of you, it's because of an argument. Okay. And maybe you lost this person for a period of time. You realize, holy shit, that really, like, didn't feel good. Not talking to them, not being with them. Like, process of elimination. I want to get back together. I hear it like that. Lovers, you know, with the feelings, with the emotions. Is this person going to come back desperate for some of you? You never saw the side of this person, especially if they're in Aries, okay? Like, they're going to become very much like, I want to please you. That was in a Pisces read. I feel this is a Pisces and Aries, okay? Higher font here, upright, 10% reverse, lovers upright. And some of you, this is your career. This is how you're just sort of engaging yourself in general in your life, and people are going to react to you. They're going to really start to kind of speak to your needs because you are being clear on what those needs are. Some of your, um, yeah, return it in the crown. Mm -hmm. I'm your own feeling. You're going to kind of start to see that people treat you differently um, when you establish these boundaries as well. And there is an expectation, okay, that you you and you have the right to assert that expectation. It's not mean or bad or wrong to have an opinion. I hear that as well. And for it to be different um, than maybe the common consensus. And there's someone here around you who will really, really. Uh, listen, if it's your, uh, okay, let's say it like this. Um, you being curt, there's something that you will create room for. It's like you create a room. You say, this is where I want to like do whatever I want to do. This is how I expect to do it. Um, and, uh, you know, in this way at this time, I'm seeing key return the throw chakra. Okay. Return to center. I'm here in Kiwi. Then you will create a space. You will create that expectation. And the, the people who really resonate with that expectation, that projection of a vision that you have of your ideal reality will know where to go and where to meet you. And I see people meeting you there. I really like that that is the case because I feel there's this sense of reflection of what it is that you've realized. It's not just, hey, this is what's right for me. It's, hey, this is the theory. And it's actually being put into motion, into practice, people actually responding to the new ways in which I'm asserting myself in this reality. It's like you're moving very quickly through this change, Aries. You're realizing things are really working for, for you in your favor. It's like, um, how do we say, the vibrate, you, you're manifesting, okay? Your vibrational shift is actually making change. Um, you're feeling successful, but it, it's until that point that you actually decide to be um, the one who confirms your needs, okay? And I hear it just again like that. And so I think you were avoiding this. I Yeah. Or going around and around, you know, thinking, how can I do this without being so outright? Nah, nah, it's not about that. And that's the lesson. Six of cups in reverse. Um, you have someone coming back. Return the throw, shuttle, return. And it could be, um, there's something that you... The, mm -hmm, return to center, throw chakra, clear it. Someone here wants to connect. Someone here wants to um, connect with you. Some of you, this is going to come as a huge shock for however reason. Um, some of you, you don't want, this is someone from your, your past. Okay. This is, um, going to be a very intense portal. Some of you really are hesitating on whether or not. Yeah. But how do we say this? You, 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 you need this. I hear it like that. Maybe you felt like you were weak to admit that you wanted this, um, you do, though, I feel, want this. And this is someone who, you know, you and this person, you you, you want this together. And it's almost like you are wanting the drama. Um, and then you realize, I don't want, though, what comes with the drama. There's something that's um, a sacrifice. Like, I have to give this up. I, how do we say? If I keep the drama up, I can't have this person. Okay? And you do... I can't have this this 
this, 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 um, you are surrendering, Aries. I'm hearing Leo, especially with Leo. I'm hearing, I need to like, um, I need to let this shit go. Some of you are playing this game with this person. It's like, I, I cannot anymore like say that this shit's funny or cool or whatever. Maybe even you were being mean to someone. It's like, I'm tired of being mean. This is ridiculous. Okay. Some of you want to just come in and hug it out. Let's get further. Just in the in the crown, in the throw chakra. So maybe this is you to you. Okay, let's get here. Some oracles, rings, soul. Okay, soul connection, union, symbol of love. Some of you are being rebellious with someone. Okay, you knew that they wanted you like in a certain way, and it's like you're realizing why was I being so hard? Like why was I telling that person like I needed more time? Like just to kind of yeah reject, just to reject what they told me they needed like what was i doing i don't know some of you you, you you're, you're gonna at least think you know why did i say that why did i do that back there like i wanted it is it true so then why did i do that you know there's something that you you release as the sort of like fabric of um the fabric of this fight i even hear that like it's like this doesn't mean anything like it really actually doesn't mean anything like why am i acting like this is important you know i i i i don't even believe this um there's something maybe you even said that you know is not true it's like maybe even there was a bit of like a dramatic situation here okay um that it was just this is ridiculous it's like i don't know why we were arguing like that even Or just down the back, throw chakra. You wanna you wanna fight for this. So I see you going from like even silly to I'm here in Ember. My eternal flame. That song. <laughs> Hello, oh, look at this. Rings, reject, capulet. Someone was running. Someone was running. Okay, they were playing a hell of a mind game over here with you. I see maybe it's same sex for some of you. Very mixed signal even. Some of you, it's in the workplace. Like, he was coming sitting right next to you, and then he's leaving saying, I'm not interested. It's like, oh, please. Appointment, fall in love, pacified. Then he's coming right back. Like, you're going to see this person be super, super open and honest with you out of nowhere. You'll be surprised. Like, wow. This person really wants me, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's get a little bit further, and then we're going to get your long-term spreads. Confession of love. Down the back, return it in the crown of chakra. We will get extended as well on members for this particular series. Read love at first. There's a family member here. Some of you, like, I don't know. I feel there's a lot of facade. Like, you wanted to kind of act cool or, like, it's like when you're trying to impress someone by intimidating them, and then you're like, that's silly. Some of you were intimidated, maybe even. And so you wanted to out-intimidate them, and then you're just like, nah, uh, I forget that. I want to go into love. I want to go into grace. I want to go into, um, I'm here because I can't fight this feeling anymore. I'm here and I'm silly. Why did I say that? I just hear it again and again. Like, maybe you were under the influencer? I don't know. Or yeah, you just purposely would, like, talk to this person about important stuff when you were like you knew you couldn't have that conversation in that long-winded way some of you someone's gonna start getting really romantic with you you're gonna be shocked like he's very mature whoa um for who i knew he was like back in the day romeo rings the nurse this person could come back from a long time ago like all of a sudden he just cut all the games he cut all the bullshit i'm here in hey um i like to like talk to you you're like what is this the same person i knew this person used to, like, push you away even. <clears throat> Give me a sec. He used to act like maybe you were even, like, you know, he would depict you as desperate for him.
Through the energy. Nothing like getting a bottle of water out of a cabinet with a spatula. Alex is staring at me. Okay, so. Now what do we do? Maybe even like you guys just broke that like weird elephant bubble and now it's like, oh my God, we're in the water together now. Like, so you splashing around, like you guys were tiptoeing around each other and now it's like, oh my God, now it's like, maybe it's like a whole new world. Return it, is under. It's like, we're, we're able to be like one. It's like you discover the world of like honesty. It's like, this place is awesome. Like we're able to just kind of just be fucking honest with each other. And like, we don't have any more like weird shadow energy to deal with. Like I literally can just like kiss you and love you. Someone here, they're heavily pierced. I see that, okay. Poison upright, harmful, destructive. Prince of Cats fashion, what's this? Yeah, why was this person acting like they didn't like you? I don't know, I keep seeing that very specific. Very specific, even like critical energy. Like, why are you wearing that? He, in all honesty, adores your outfit. Just saying. Anyways, childish over here. Some childish ass energies over here. Some of you, you gave that person the boot. And then he was a really hurt. He was very regretful, okay, of what his behavior led <coughs> y'all both to. Then experience. And he realized, he admitted, well, he will, that you were right. Like, that you were right that this is not the way to behave with someone you love. Maybe he was treating someone he loves as someone he doesn't love. And you're like telling him, you told him, you're not, you realize how you're being dishonest with both of us. You're acting like you're not in love, but you are. I'm seeing a sombrero. Some of you got into an argument at the cabana or something with a Mexican food or I don't know, on the beach side or something. And then just something, well, something with um, like tacos or there's a bar or something. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you guys separate. I feel like you really did hold him to or her, they to that expectation yet again. And then they, they realize like, holy shit, like you're right. Like I'm not good for you when I'm like that. Okay, maybe this person had a drinking problem even. And uh, you really told him, I can't be with you. Like if you're going to be doing that and you get crazy when you're drunk, then I cannot be with you. And um, hearing that song, Gwen Stefani, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey. And so, and if that's the case, like you will see that I will disappear and I will, you'll see that I will leave. And, uh, and then you will be alone. And you were telling him that he didn't register until you actually left him. And then he ran back to you. That's what I see for some of you. You'll see that that came full circle and that, that was a way to handle that. In retrospect, you'd be very, very grateful that you were brave enough to, to leave the situation until this person could have that epiphany. We have seeking help and eager. So this is about rehab for someone. Okay. Let's get a little further guys. Um, we're going to get now the six month spread. Really quickly, can I get, if you're dealing with someone, yeah, Pisces, this person has a lot of Neptune. They kept kind of like acting like they wanted to kind of have the last word, kind of, like they want to act like, no, I'm, I have the right idea here. It's like, okay, you'll see how far you get with that. Um, uh, this person, they, they, it's not like they were about to dump you. I heard like this, like, oh, um, you d think this is wrong. Okay, then I want to do it with someone else. No, they, they were saying that this was the right way with you. But then they saw, I want to explain this in a very particular way. It's someone's very particular download here. This person needs to realize that they would lose you. Um, not like, okay, that, that, you know, oh, that their behavior is their behavior in totality and that they could just go and be that way with another person. No, they wanted to kind of be com competitive with you on what was right for you. Do you see? You were telling this person no that's really not going to work for me this person didn't want to go and be with someone else i think we need to clarify that okay they were competing with you even okay libra sagittarius maybe you both had an idea of how to handle how to um assert in this given situation maybe you even both own return it down let's have a company even, and maybe even at a certain point, you were like giving this person the space to kind of just make these decisions um, as, a, as an independent um, identity. It's like, no, we both have to um, re-engage, okay, and check in with ourselves here and see if we're both also satisfied with the decisions we're coming to. This could be a joint venture. We have Virgo that just was getting out of control. Like you started to maybe let this person make some decisions and then they're making all the decisions. It's like, come right back here. Okay, yeah, I, I, I need to... Um, I need to tell you, like, I, I need to realize also my dreams in, in, in our love story. Yeah. 
you're realizing, Evan, that you kind of gave this person the space to be selfish. So um, at a certain point, it comes back around to, to you. And you need to be that person who expects, again, that this person gives you space to be um, respecting you. And it's like, at first, they had no concept of that. Like, no one ever tells me no kind of thing. No, you know, you never told me no. And so, but that's where then the hard and the tough love comes in. Well, when you still challenge me on that, you can say whatever you want. But when the reality hits that I am no longer there, when you act like that, that's when you get it. That I need to get my needs met here. Okay, and it could be anything. Your advisor, I'm your career. Your, your, I'm here about a doctor, job. You know, you're like in a way boycotting. Like on return the throw chakra. You're being exploited at work, some of you. Really, it's like if you don't pay me higher, I'm leaving. I'm here when Larry, I am. So, okay. Can I get here? Um, we got, uh, we was Libra, Gemini. Some of this person was embarrassing you in front of people. And you said, okay, you stop telling those stupid jokes. I don't like when you talk to, talk about me like that as well to your friends. Okay. Yeah. Stop talking about me. Maybe period, you know, stop gossiping. Um, this person, yeah, definitely, um, changed that. Okay. I'll say it like that. And they chose you. They didn't want to lose this connection. They realized that the ultimatum was right there. Um, not as a joke, but for serious. Maybe you guys, you know, you were you were deciding. Like, you kept going back and forth. Well, I don't know if we're break up. Oh, my God. These two cars are going exactly like that in the alley, like, separate ways, like, really slowly. It's like, are we really ending this? Um, maybe neither one of you wanted to, like, be the one, you know, to really pull the plug or whatever. And, yeah. And, um And, and then you you realize, like, this is really happening. Like, we're really not able as well to, like, keep afloat with this business or we're really not, um, yeah, able to uh, satisfy each other, okay? This person maybe thought you were joking as well. So, and that's where we go again and we say, it's up to you. Like, if I really need this, I need to really prove that. If I tell this person, I need you to be this person, but then I'm still hanging around them and they're not meeting my needs, then I don't really need that need. So it's like, so are, am I lying? You know, <laughs> and they will start to see you as a liar. It's like, oh, she said she really needs that, but she's still like here. So she doesn't really need it. Okay, I'll keep doing it. You know, something like that. Some of you are realizing like, what does it mean to communicate and to assert and to also be really clear and one with your own sentiment of self-love and, and self-awareness, like knowing what you need really. I mean, maybe you don't really need it. It's like, do you really need it? <laughs> Something's coming up here. Like, it's a, it's a tension. It's the feeling. It's the feeling of love, of passion. Do I feel it? If I don't, yeah. It may manifest as maybe you're lying to yourself. It's like, I don't really need that. It's like, then you start to feel this fucking tension. And it's maybe something that's coming out of you like volcanically, an eruption of even like frustration. Okay. And so there's a turning point with that. Okay. How you realize what you really need. Okay. Maybe you're going to get to this point where it's like, I, I didn't, I didn't know that I knew I needed it, but I, I didn't. Yeah. There's something that is about your throat chakra, Aries. I feel like it's about also your higher mind. Are you acknowledging, you know, it's a connection to your, to your, I'm your, your body, your, your return in the third eye, return in the throat chakra, return in the third eye and the crown chakra as well. Return it in the, mm -hmm, the whole upper chakras, return center in the root chakra as well. So this is about, fear releasing fear there's nothing you should be afraid of when you speak your truth it's a past life trauma it can also be now you may be realizing that why was i so afraid it's like you had a block like every time like i wanted to do this then i had a block why 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 was i afraid to say this do that you know amazing i feel like you're really starting to get back into this you're de-rusting you're you're decalcifying okay yeah you're d you're de resisting <laughs> yeah you're sort of um you're, you're doing those things that maybe challenge you as well it's like oh that's scary to me let me do it you know obviously within guidelines of sense and obviously please talk to your personal practitioner before you make any change in your life this is a general video let's get here a little bit further i want to get here again that six month spread and then we're going to get into the 12 year six month uh six year predictions and six six well six months in the six years And then we'll pull an extra six and we'll do an XM non members. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for joining members again. And we'll see you there for all the signs. I haven't forgot Sagittarius. Your read Sag is still there. So we'll get to that uh, separately, obviously. Knight of Swords. Right, force, 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 force. 
yeah okay this is all about attraction this is about what you really are drawn to there's someone here you really like aries you find this person very attractive you're giving in to the silly game I'm hearing no balls on the death card. Um, within five months, this is going to be the most honest you get possibly ever. You'll look back on this moment and be like, holy shit, I said that to that person? That's crazy. Even as honest as you've gotten, it's still going to be a height, I feel, like, in your life. Like, if someone, if you're ever playing spin the bottle, when were you the most honest with someone? Like, when were you the most just, you know, brutally, like, the brash, the most brash? It's like, yeah, it was in... Um, what month would that bring us to? Uh, we're looking at April, May, June, July, August. August. That's Leo season. All right. So uh, could be 8-8, eight, eight, even the portal. Right around the Lionsgate portal, you make it really honest here with someone I hear like that. Um, King of Swords, that day is coming. Um, and uh, it's something like where you just feel like really impressed even. Like, wow, I can't believe I did that. I said that to that person at the time. Like, whew, you're going to be on fire when it comes to that. So, <clears throat> This could even be a long time rival or so-called enemy that you just finally defeat. It's like, I'm gonna tell that one person what I really feel. Okay, let's get a six, six year spread now. You'll be really happy you did it, Aries. I see you love in August. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing, and I don't wanna miss a thing. Cause even when I dream of you, the sweetest dream will never do. I still miss you, hey. And I don't want to see Aerosmith. So I'm going to move in about four or five years. I see you moving. You're going to let go of a business. I'm here in Tallahassee. This was something you were keeping together. You were really like the backbones of this business. Without you, it falls apart. I feel other people are going to see that, how true that is. Um, in about four or five years when you step away from whatever this is, you know, some of you, they'll realize how much they really needed you, how much they really wanted you, how much they really depended on you, how much they really, you know, if anyone's taking you for granted here in, in these, especially next six months, this lays the premise for who will learn what lesson come about four or five years down the line. They will see that you were. I'm hearing that song. Cause baby, you the best. Cause you, um, you, you were honestly, um, you, you were the, you were the, you were the, you were the finest, I hear it like that, diamond. You were the, the strongest pillar around them. Um, they will come to appreciate you in retrospect. Some people here, you know, they're being tested right now. Um, this could even be, six, it, let's say that you reach a insane level of success in about four or five years. These next six months are the moment in which these people around you will be tested. Do they love you because they see that, you know, um, how far you've come and where you where you arrive at once you've come as far as you have. Are they sort of gauging you in relation to who they think that they will be next to you as the person that you'll be? Is it conditional? Is it, um, you know, superficial? Uh, you're weeding people out right now. They're proving themselves to you indirectly. Some of you right now, you're probably feeling a little bit even. I see in these next three months a little bit like out of sorts, a little bit awkward, a little bit like... Maybe even you're wondering, like, why is my business not getting off the ground? Or there's, there, why is this, this, my project is not where I want it to be at yet. It feels not just that, but it's like, um, I feel slow with this. Or I feel like it's slowing down. That's kind of um, illusory. I see a fly here. Yeah, there's something that's getting cleared. And it is um, behind you. Like, these are people who actually benefit from you. But spirits um, in this transit is giving everyone a fair chance to be... Um, in elevation, okay, uh, as far um, as far as um, the saying goes, practice is, is always different. People can say they're your friend, but why are they really there? We'll weed out the reasons as to why. Bye, you guys. Um, I'm hearing uh, return to center. I'm hearing first and foremost, but I'm hearing the name Ashley here. By way of return it down mm -hmm, in the crown, uh, but by way of what um, what 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 they have. Um, what they have first in mind. So some people, you know, people could say, well, I do like you. It's true. I like you. But the question is also their motivation. Why? What, what came before like? Was it, let's say that you felt you needed me. And then, you know, I think I could get used to this person. Some people here 
don't feel love for you, but they love you, if you know what I mean. And that's something that you're going to have to see clearly. Why is it that people have been drawn to you? And how do they actually reflect to you your highest notion of um, success? Because when people here are remaining in your energy Aries who don't actually align with um, faith, I hear that as well. If they're you know, in their mind, they know I'm not really going to really want to be with Aries in the long term, but I'll just kind of use Aries in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll just kind of still chill around Aries. You know, they know that they're projecting that energy to you and it's not of the divine. It's not of the highest nominative of, um, of frequency where they are actually feeling you. Okay. And flowing with you there, there are some people here are using you Aries and these people return it down the, down the left side body. Mm -hmm. They will, they, some of you, they will be reminded that fear is not where you're headed to. And it's not why you're headed to where you're headed to. We'll see you in the next video. y'all. It's a bit